the undimensioned and unseen, one of the worst scenarios in the game, by far. So yeah, um, now as part of this scenario setup, I've already set up a good chunk of it, but I have to add a random packed madness or I forget the last one or injury uh, to my deck. So what I'm gonna do? So I've already set up set that up here. Um, these are the ones that aren't. So the pile is here. Uh, shuffle this, and I'm going to do that. And I don't know what it is now. Now, the alterations to my deck. I basically added another uh, web pad, and I've also bought Keen Eye. And the reasoning for this is basically to in have even more ways to increase my intellect because I'm going to need it in the next scenario. It's not so much for the combat boost, or that might be useful. But yeah. Because of two, I'm just not getting anywhere. Because of that reason, out of the professors that were rescued, I've also added Dr. Professor Warren Rice to my deck. Now the... Oops. I should not have looked. Well, it was still random. Um, I'm not sure if we were supposed to know. I'll just add another one. I'll, I'll re-add another one in a second. Um, put that there. So, actually, take, we'll do permanent while I'm in here. So, take this out, and where is he? Oh, Professor One Rice, that was it. Again, for the intellect boost, and it also worked well prepared. Uh, prepare for the worst, and where's emergency cash? That was the last one I've been using. Can I take emergency cash out? I can't see it. Is this deck right? What the hell? Um, oh, it's there. Apparently, I'm blind. I mean, I wear glasses, so I technically am, but still. Um, pair for the worst. I need to re need to learn more about the toggles for this. There we go, and it's still I still only have one of each uh, trauma, I think. Yeah, um, yeah just put this back in. This was the part, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to know. So I'll put this in after I've done my basic weakness, um, or my drawing, etc. For my hand. Now, why am I going over here? Right. So the setup of the scenario is really long and annoying. So basically, we have to choose one of each of these. Which I'm gonna do now. So shuffle, shuffle, yep, and also this one second, gather that. Uh, we'll be getting play at the Dunwich Village. I haven't played this in R in ages, so uh, and I in regards to rescuing No. So two people were sacrificed to Yogsathoth. So one copy of the brood of um the broods gets placed in the Cold Spring Glen. So these are the main enemies of this scenario. They're basically unkillable except by the card that the game gives you. Um, 
Now, I don't have the powder of Ibn Gazi, however it's pronounced, so that's not good, but we should be fine without it, hopefully. Um, so, two days ago, to put one copy in, set three copies outside out of play. So, get that one, put it over there. And I put those in there. Um... So we're on standard and chaos bag wise I am supposed to add a minus three. Now I have again I haven't got any extra tokens in the bag. So I've just got the ones that game fours is usually bad. Ugh. Yeah. There you go. Um, otherwise, I don't believe there's anything else. No, nope. and you don't remove any for this scenario. I haven't played this scenario in ages. Oh, just for the record, I have out of the choices at the beginning. I am going with um, you have. What was it? Oh, I'll go with you have worn the townsfolk. Um, I can't remember the plus and downsides of either, so um, there, you go. there you go, in the campaign log. Um, so yeah, and again I'll draw my starting hand and then I'll do the thing. Um, also this is used for randomization, so it's going to be kept there. I honestly can't remember how the brood gets spawned. I think they get spawned via cards. Um, yeah. So, let's shuffle. Uh, now I'm not going to need beat cop at all in this scenario because he's basically worthless. I think there are invest there are invest there uh, enemies in the deck other than the broods. They're not in the deck anyway, but still. Um, go on to see. I don't really want to see the crime yet. Dodge. Take the initiative. Get rid of dodge. Take the initiative. Do I really need it? Not really. I'll probably have the assets. Um, yeah, so I'll add for crawl four. Not bad. <sighs> Again, this is going to. This is another card that's going to be utterly worthless in this scenario. Actually, uh, still can't. I think there's some out, some enemies in the deck. Right, what does the campaign log say? Um. Okay, yeah, there's Ripper Worlds, so it is worth playing the cross then. Uh, yeah. So the way these work is they're massive. They're all exactly the same. They all have two health and cannot be damaged ex or attacked except by the esoteric thingy. So I can resign if I want to, which I might do because I hate the scenario. Um, investigating damage, yeah. Really, really could have done with six cents, but hopefully Mr. Rook would make us get it. So I'll play. Hey, sir. So this would be two. Zero, three. Amazing. So discard this. 
or use it so rather from first action so first ally then the cross and then the gun why has this not got its things on it um, Oh, just before I forget. At least I'm getting used to streaming this game now. Usually jump yeah, drops over here. So this is turn one. Uh why did I put it on here? Apparently, if we do this, yeah, um, yeah, that's correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, use Mr. Rook for nine. Taking six cents, obviously, and also having to take this. And this isn't going to hurt me during the first turn, but I do want to get rid of it soon because these broods can be annoying if you be. Um, that was unintentional. They can be annoying if you last if you wait too long. Yeah. And now I'm like, damn it. It's fine. The next turn I can play emergency cash and then Actually wait, that was one. No, playing that was one, then two. This isn't two, but yeah. I could run away basically to try and get risk this hitting me I mean the odds of that well they say that it's probably gonna happen now but now I'm gonna use the yeah when does this happen again at the end of the enemy phase. Uh, so I can evade it if I need to. I do have to take the initiative. That's fine then. So I'll just get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, the odds of it happening are low. So enemy phase. And this is where I'm proven wrong. So the top card is the one I'm going to use. The, ow. The meadow. I don't know what the meadow is. It's here. Move each brood of your five enemy once towards a random location. So it's going for the meadow, so I can actually choose, so it's going to go this way. Um. What? Oh, right, okay. Why are these these token things are wrong yeah I don't know um Okay, it's going there. And then upkeep phase. Click, click, draw. This is the other six cents. Um, ready this. Oh, I should I get ready to get rid of her? We have doomed. Oh, I'm just like, okay, I need to get two clues to advance. Um, yeah, encounter card. Surge. 
I forgot this card existed. Oh, damn it. Um, oh, no, I know. So now, for this turn, Mr. Rook is blank. Luckily, it doesn't make that big a difference because it's only going to last one turn anyway, really. I mean, depends, but still. Uh, yeah. So I really need to evade this. So I will use... Take the initiative. B-cop? Why B-cop there? Hmm. So five. Minus two, it works. Uh, and then I will This is gonna move again anyway, so I will play the emergency cash, my second action. Then I'll play six cents. They cost the same, so yeah. And at the end of my turn, test four to three, plus one, this goes away. And then, yeah, enemy phase. Just moving towards the blasted heath. And then already in the at the end of the turn anyway. Um, upkeep phase. Steadfast. Doom. Ruin and destruction. Okay, well let's move now. So we're fine. I have to search though. Ah. So attach this, and then at the end of the round we would take a horror. But I'm gonna move before that anyway. So I use six cents. That's four to three minus one. Then I'll move. I'll move to the club to the Cold Spring Glen and save there. Hopefully, um, and then I will again use six cents minus one. I didn't even check what it was. It was four to three. Um, yeah. So two clues, I can't remember what happens when this advances, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until next turn. So enemy phase, move towards the Waitley Ruins, can it go straight there? No, but it can go this way. Lone Wolf. And yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is advance the agenda. So delete these. Go away, computer storage, I know. Um, oh, wait, no, sorry, I've got to put the Waitley Ruins. Oh, where am I? Okay, so I'll. Okay, take those two clues back for a second. Okay, just imagine I have two clues for a second. I'm going to take my turn, and if I don't use the advance it, I'll put it, I'll put them back. Um, 
So I'll investigate here as my first action. Minus two. I'll try to get him a second. Minus two again, yay. Hmm. I'll see where it goes first. And also I'm going to use Mr. Rook before I forget. Um, nine again. Takes to the crow, might be useful to her. And then smite the wicked. This thing sure loves getting with walls, doesn't it? So the furthest away would be one, two, one, two. It's equal. So I'll put it here. Um, the hell was that? Uh, yeah, that's my turn. So enemy phase. The meadow. Yes, it does go here. Oh, and this too. And then the upkeep phase. So now, it's kind of kind of stuck. I can't really go there this turn. So, I might just pay, spend this turn playing cards. Uh, and then I can move if I need to. So, I'll spend one Lone Wolf. I'll spend two that's three. I'll prepare it. I'll put it in my body slot because I never use that. And as my third action, I will try and investigate. So four, and then I'll. Can I? Is I got it? And I'll use a uh, well prepared. Really. When you're exhausted and choose an asset you control, gain plus one skill value of that icon. And uh, yeah, I'll use it on Mr. Rook, so I'm on five war power versus three. Blue is mine. And the enemy phase. What is happening? <laughs> Uh, it goes back up here, and then this comes down here. Upkeep. No. Wait, I had four. Yeah, I pressed this then down. Okay, so Doom. Huh? Why is everything upside down now? Is 
So I'm just trying to figure out what if this if this is wrong. I think I missed a doom somewhere. Um, it's the first round one, one doom, two. Yeah. So five rounds have passed, so we should be on four doom. I think, no five. I'm tired. <laughs> uh. Or have I just pressed this twice? I honestly have no idea. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to do the worst of the two because I honestly don't know. So I'm just going to act as if I'm on. This is turn six, so five turns have passed. So there should be five do. Yeah, round one passes this. Second one passes this. Third one. Fourth one. And the fifth one. So it would advance. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry, but I can't remember. Uh, I forgot it. Why is it doing this? What if I do it like this? And now it just doesn't work. Uh, shuffle the discard pile into the encounter deck. And then, yeah, a brood. Oh yeah, I think it spawns where I am. And then he counter card. This is very annoying. Attached to a brood, I'll attach it to the one that isn't near me. Um, I should be ready. And start my phase turn, I get a thing. So, how um, much is this to evade again? Three. I can make it four. I mean, I can make my uh, thing three and then boost the four will bore them, but it's not really worth it. Uh. Can I use the clue thing while I'm here? Yeah, I can. Investigate is in Cold Spring, May as a group, play such two clues. So I'll do that. And I'll put a resource on it to show that I've done it. I don't have enough to. Yeah, but yeah. Um. Yeah. So he's oh he's well prepared. Try and evade it. Free. Scar Warren Rice for four. Elder Sign. So that gets evaded. That was the first action. 
My second action is going to be to engage this while it's here. Oh wait, no. Um, that was the other sign, so it's fine. Um, it's evaded. And then I thought I'd forgotten to do the whipple. I mean, I did, but that was sign, so it doesn't matter. Um, second action to engage it, engage this, and then I'll use the re I'll gain the resource from this, and then spend it on the cross. That kills this straight away. And then I'll move to the Bailey Ruins. Inch Investigate is minus one more power, that's just great. Um, yeah, and now I just need to thing. So, enemy phase. So, for this one, it goes towards me, of course, it does. And again, this is at the end of the enemy phase. Uh, they will go towards. No, it goes. It stays there. Sorry. Um. Upkeep. Ready that. Ready that. And then the doom. Each pre swap swap and enemies one field towards you. Okay, so that's just great. The plus side of it, but to search out a scene of the crime. This doesn't surge. Why does it surge? So I've basically got to pass an agility test by three. Yay. So I'm going to use well prepared again, use it on this. So 3 to 3, minus 2, I take 2 damage. I put it on myself, I haven't got the, I need, I need Mr. Rook this turn really. Um, discard that. And then I use Mr. Rook. At first I get a resource for Lone Wolf. But yeah, Mr. Rook. Nine again. I'm taking this. Uh, take the initiative. I hate this scenario. Um, I right, so haven't actually taken any actions yet, though, so take the initiative is still at its full power. In fact, I don't even know why I was bothering. I've got a scene of the crime in my hand. Whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do is place here the crime. So I get two clues. And then I'm going to do this. So Armitage, I think he survived. Give me a second. Yeah, Armitage was rescued. So, no. Did he survive? Yeah, he still did damage legacy. I looked at the wrong thing. Um, so we get the esoteric formula. Which is the only way to beat these things. I put it in the arcane slot again. I don't really use it. Um, 
Yeah. So I I use Mr. Rook, I play Cindy Prime. Um I got two actions left. So I use war power instead of that. And then So what do they have again? CF six. I need to kill it twice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on six versus six. So I'm going to use steadfast, which I believe is still, yeah, it still is four power, so I get three. So three difference, minus two. Oh wait, no, I read it wrong. Oh well, I'm still with it. Oh well. Um. Yeah, so I'm on. I'm actually on eight. Um. Base pick. So second, well, third action. Sorry, I'll do it again. Of course, I draw the auto field. Do these ever retaliate? No. Well, that's my turn. Um, enemy phase. So also got I take one from chronophobia. I hate this weakness. Um, they are both going to attack me. That dies. Uh. And the enemy, enemy phase. So the one with the clues on it first will go up, I think. One, two, three, one, two, another go down. And the other one will go over here. At least now I can actually start killing the things. Upkeep phase thing draw doom. Honestly, I think I'm gonna die at this point, but yeah. Peril, you must either take two horror, which I can't do anyway because I'll die, or spawn a set aside brood. That is just what we needed. Spawns at yellow. Also, I think this should have gone away. Um, yeah. Right, so my turn. The first thing I'm going to do is get rid of chronophobia because I have to. Um, but that is two actions. And then there's not really much else I can do to be honest. I can go up to the trip to the thing, but I don't really want to because this is gonna move again. I don't really want to let it get away, but hmm. I'll just leave it. So I'll just draw a card. Nice bit of courage, good. Um, 
So enemy phase, so I'll do the middle one first. The middle one goes. Towards the devil hop yard. So I'll have that go up because I don't want it to go towards me. Oh no, it can't go up. Um okay, so he's gotta to go towards me then. Sarah the McClues on. Yeah, I'm getting sworn. And then the one on the left. It just stays where it is. Um That goes to the next push go on there. So that was the enemy phase, upkeep phase. Uh, Doom. I bet it's another one of those yucks, um, brood support cards. No, but it is, I think, not as bad actually. This goes over here. Um, right, so my first action. I'm going to evade this one. I need to do this in one action, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do take the initiative. That's five. Five to three. And then I'll use I'll prepared on this. Six to three. Yeah. Also just realised this has an extra damage, I should have taken an extra damage. Um but yeah. So let's take formal again. It will be on I'll be on eight versus six. Um I will I'll just leave it. So eight versus six minus two. The brood is dead. At least kill one. That's progress. Oh, so it should be seven versus six. Okay, so. Yeah, I know it was seven versus six. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll undo that entire move and I'll just redo it. So, I did that as two clues in it. Um, so basically, instead, I will, I'll do unexpected courage and I'll pull a token again. Minus three. So, eight, nine, ten, and then nine. Yeah, six to just pass. That's the first way I can think of doing it. Um, one, two, and I'm like, this is going to head towards me, so I don't really want to go there yet. Uh, I know, I'll go up. Follows you into the mud. So enemy phase. Uh, so this one will move first. It's going to go up here. And the end of the enemy phase, I'll have this one first. Blasted he. I said this is isn't it. Yeah. So of course it goes towards me again.
And then this one goes here. The upkeep phase. Mythos phase. Oh, for God's sake. Um, again, I've got no, no choice. I'm starting to think I'm just going to have to run. Triangle. Broods everywhere. Um, yeah, that's my turn. I gain a token from Lone Wolf. Uh, and then it's like I can't even get there anyway. It's like, hey, there's your res there's the resign point, and here's the wall of enemies. Two of which are immortal. Uh, And that's, that's the thing because of the support card. I honestly can't kill it in one turn anyway. Because it's got another health, an extra health. So. Is he going to use the clues? It only does this thing, only does one damage. I can't even take the opportunity attack. So the only real thing I can do is just this for aid. Um, on this, lone wolf. Three to three. Thank God. Um, that's one. I'll move in. To the lupine thrall. Yay, thanks. Um, and then I will attack it. Why well, I got use for this gun? I'm not going to bother using Zoe's cross because there's just no point. Um, So, one, two, then the three, that's seven, seven to four. Zero. It just gets one shot, basically. <laughs> so they move five, yeah. Um, enemy phase, this one first. So this goes down. Also, I'm going to do this now if it's easier. Uh, middle one. That's just where it is. And the bottom one. So we'll go up here. Um, yeah. I'll keep phase. Hey. And then. This got other ability on it that lets me kill it. I can put one clue on it. Because I don't really need to. 
run just yet, but I want to stay nearby. All the run that is probably going to get me killed. Um, yeah. So. I really should have taken the damage. Um. Screw it. I don't care anymore. I hate this scenario anyway, so. One. I'm not going to resign yet. I'm going to see if I can try and kill it. If, if I can't kill it in this turn, I'm just going to resign. Um, that's free. And then. So, use this. So, six, seven, eight. Um, so, eight. Minus. A lot. Three. Yeah, I'm just gonna resign. I know I'm not done very well, but I'm not going to do. I'm not. I'm. I'm not doing very well anyway. I expected that as Zoe. Um. I did expect to do better though, but I guess this is what happens when you're on your own and get just massacred by brood spawns. Um. Yeah. So that was the League of Shore Investigators. I have earned one victory point. And that's basically it. At this point, this at this point, my goal in this in this league is just to make it to the end. I'm not gonna lie; most of the time, I don't make it to Lost in Time and Space, and I made it there like three times. So basically, the plan is just to do that. Um, but yeah, sadly, Zoe, despite having all the damage, there's some things that can't be killed with guns. Which makes sense, but isn't very fun, really. So, yeah. Goodbye. Oh, and I wait a second, I should what resolution I said I got. Um, resolution 1. And I think 4. Roots, 1, 2, 3. No, they all got spawned. So three broods have been let into the wild. And that's it. So yeah. Bye.